Hello everyone. Hi everyone. Welcome back to Donald Parish, the place of own fine craft tales. If you haven't met before, this is my very excited brother. The pubs will soon be open. <laughs> Alan Partridge. This is my even more excited brother, Master Brother Dave Parish. Hello everyone. Hi yeah. everyone. How's yeah. it going? Oh, bro. I'm not just getting excited because the pubs are open. What? I'm getting excited because it's that great time of year where you can put on last night at the proms and play the land of open glory really loud. Okay. Right, fair enough. Of course, I'm talking about St. George's Day. Oh, of course it is, isn't it? <laughs> 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 it got straight away now. I've got my mind set on beers. I forgot about it. You're your day, bro. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well, there you go. Well, there you go. Um, so, um, uh, it's a Friday night. It's a DMP, and, and we're to test beers. We are testing some tasty beers indeed. A range of beers across the bar. Beer crits. Basically, we buy them, we, he makes them, we review them. There you That's go. It. What What we got first, bro? Well, we're going to kick off with one of those from Worcester Op Shop. Oh, yeah. uh, you may remember, if you've watched some of our previous videos, that we've had quite a few from that. From that. This is a... Um, go on, bro. Tell this, me how you this, say it. This is a clone... Well, it's a clone kit type thing, isn't it? Yeah. So this is meant... To, I can't... I still don't know, folks, whether it's Chai Mate or Chimay. But it's it's something I've not heard about. It is, it's a leaflet, because I bought some beers to try it against. Uh, basically, um, cut a long story short, it's Trappist Monk beer from Belgium. Especially it, yep. Yeah. Now the thing is, I bought I bought a kind of gift set thing with these in it. It this 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 one, eight percent. We're starting on an eight percent, huh? Well, why not? <laughs> not Friday night, isn't it? No <laughs> else, do. The kit, I don't think I got anywhere near that eight percent. The kit is you're supposed to have some uh, some candy sugar. I didn't have any, um, so I'm thinking of mine's a little bit weak on that. To be fair. Okay, okay. This, this is, if you're not familiar with it, this this is the uh, this is the bottle, sort of thing. There you go. All right. So in the small glasses, we have the beer from the monks, mm -hmm. and in the tall glasses, we've got yours. Mm -hmm. Which one are we going for first? Oh, well, I think we want to go for the kit first. This is obviously one of those uh, full grain kits from the Woolstock shop. Doing the Brew Devil or your all in one system. Comes complete again with um, all the grain, all the ops, apart from the candy sugar. I'd actually say yours has got more nose to it. Mm. Is it? It's a similar nose, but yours what is a similar nose, isn't it? But yours definitely got more going it's on. A, it's a very lager esque kind of well, that it, kind of Belgian y kind of. It's a Belgian Trappist Monk beer, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> right. God, this is the start of Friday night off well, isn't it? You're going to get slapped. Might seem try. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so it's light in colour, it's hazy. There's a kind of hot, I say lager s, it must it's be the art. Pungent. Oh, yeah. Mm. Right, um, right, let's go. I'm going in. That's not bad. It's not bad. It's not that great. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because it is very lager esque. The, 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 when I say that, there's like the, the the ops that you'd find in probably a strong lager, a bit like a, a German um, Palmer or something like that. Yeah. Um, the second taste actually is a bit better. It smooths out. It's it's quite. It's really dry at the back end, isn't it? Mm. It's like. Well, I think you can mm. taste some of the strength in there, mm. can't you? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Is it anything like the real thing? This is what the question always is, isn't it? Are and, actually, something? you know, we should take a couple of slurps of that. And the initial yeah. shock of how probably strong and oh, that's always helps with cheeks a little bit. Right then, so that's the kit. Do we mark it out of ten yet, or do we try the original? See if it's anything wrong. I think we try the original first. Okay, okay. Yours is better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying those monks don't know how to make beer, but... Well, yeah, that's actually worse. That's smoother. Slightly drier. I actually say that's a bit bland. A bit more flavour going on there, to be fair. Yeah. That might, I'm not, I don't want to diss Belgian beers too much, but I might as well be drinking Fosters, mate. Strong Fosters. You're right, that tastes like a strong Fosters. Or any other generic lager you find on a bar. It's like having a lager with a vodka in it. Because you get that strength of power comes through on the back on the palate. It's strong, but there's certainly no there's certainly no hop taste. There's no depth to it. I like that that one. Yours is better. Uh, uh, what sort of shops is better? <laughs> what sort of shops is better? It's not <laughs> your sort of bag. It's not it's not my sort of thing because you're not going to be able to. It is. Uh, you can see us in our Ponzi glasses. 
You're not going to be able to have a few pints of this. No, it's well, you can, can, but you won't get up. <laughs> a lot of Belgian beers are strong anyway, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, the, and the Trappist Triple is obviously meant to be even yeah. stronger. Yeah. So they're not meant to be a session now. There was another one in, in, the, in the little range that I bought of, of beers, which was their reserve, and it's 9%. So, you know, I hope it tastes a bit better than the rate, so. <laughs> But um, I think it was better, mate. Yeah, 10 out of 10 for the kit, anyway. Yeah, well, I don't know about 10 out of 10, but yeah, you know <laughs> And while we're on the kits from the start shop, thanks to all those comments we got the other week from uh, about um, Jamal's evil twin. I had a couple of comments from America, especially one from a, a Skid Baxter. Skid Baxter? Yeah. Was well, he on the Jigs of Hazard? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he sent me a couple of links to the Heretic Brewing Company. Actually ah, yes. makes evil twin. Yes. It's not called Jamal's evil twin, it's actually called evil twin. Jamal was the guy who came with the recipe, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. So, so thanks for that, guys. Yeah. After all those guys did come in, I really do appreciate you, it. You keep teaching us as much as we do. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for that. Yeah, cool. Um, next then. Next then, Ray, right, let's move on. I have to say my cheeks on fire after that. <laughs> let's move on to some kits that everybody can buy and make with, with ease and simple decisions. Which one are we going for first, bro? I think we'll have some Peters. Right, uh, okay. IPA, is it? On the kit there. This is uh, some Peters Indian Pale Ale 32 point beer kits. I'm sure if you're familiar with a bit of brewing, you've seen some Peters uh, kits out there. Yeah. A full bodied pale ale with a zesty character. 5.5%. Mm -hmm. St. Peter's, of course, down in uh, Bungay in Suffolk, not far from the people who make it called uh, Muntons are down in Suffolk as well. Exactly, yeah, they're the guys that do it, aren't they? Mm -hmm. um, obviously, a uh, little box two tin kit. Two tin kit. You do get some yeast in there and you do get some hop. Powder to add at the time Ooh, of adding the not yeast. pellets, powder. No, okay. I would like to see if there was an ever an upgrade to this kit. I think some hop pellets, pellets rather than powder. Yeah, I would like to do this kit again. I think explain to a novice what's the difference. Well, obviously, powder's a powder, and it's powder. Yeah. When, when, do you add them in at the same sort of times? Or, uh, well, no, with, with pellets, you tend to add them, add them in as you're actually making the beer, as you probably. Do there with the powder in, in a way you add it after you've you know, you've got okay. just before you pitch the yeast, um, and sometimes with pellets you dry you dry up of course. Uh, roughly how much do you know? I'm at twenty two quid. At twenty two quid. Thirty two points. Twenty two quid. Oh, no, no, Two cans there to dissolve them in your fermenter like I showed you the other week, and away you go. This is gone through the corner keg, I believe. Uh, obviously, a lot of my beers now are going in the corner keg. Uh, we've seen if it's improving the quality of the beer because obviously we've done this kit back in the past. I've had a pure brew and we've put it into a corner keg and we've put it through the uh, Guinness Town. So we've just really seen it, what kind of difference that makes. It's a multi nose. Yes, it is a kind of multi nose from the multi extract kind of smell. A little bit, but not, 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 a, not, a, not a bad nose. It's a nice nose, don't get me wrong. I'm getting no punchy grapefruity in this. Not a huge amount. Although I'm getting a little bit of fruit coming through there. See if you stir it around yeah. a bit, don't you? Right, cheers, bro. Cheers, bro. Oh, that's a nice beer. I've now got it in the chiller as well. That is cracking. That's a nice beer, huh? That is cracking. That's better than you. Belgian Trappist monks. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> mm. You know, I'm not leaving the same much more apart from that's 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, golden crisp. For me, you could probably do with just an extra little kick of ops. If I, I think what I'm going to do, bro, is do this kick again, mm. get a little handful of citra or so, and just put it what in towards would that add to the dryness on the back end? Because it's, 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 it's lacking that a little bit. It's lacking well, that it? little dryness and that mm. little hot punch. So I, I would probably recommend doing this kit at the end of the fermentation, get a little handful of the citrus hops, drop it in there, leave it a day or two. Just, yeah, just to change it a little bit. Just to but to be it. honest, for, for a kit, it's 10 yeah. out of 10. It's, it's a marvellous beer. Can't, beer. can't knock that. That's great. Hot Summer's Day like we've had this week. 24 in one place. It's been snowing on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> great, isn't it? England, though. <laughs> this is what you need. Definitely 10 out of 10. Oh, yeah, 10 out of 10. Uh, I believe we're going for a third kit. Yeah, we've got a third kit, bro. I do like, I do like, oh no, I nearly picked up the wrong one. I tell you that, Belgian beers want to get it already. So, festival, premium ale kits, Father's Hook Best Bitter. So, they come in these boxes. Again, I'm sure you're probably familiar with those. We've done most okay. of these. I can't remember doing Father's Hook recently. No, I think it's been a while since we did that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I thought we'd do it again. And so, this is a premium ale kit, like I just said. It's 4.5 ABV. Uh, taste should be big, multi-body, with a wonderful orange marmalade character. Okay. 
with the malts are perfectly balanced with the hop and bitterness. Mm, and this well. is a three and a half hop bitterness. Yeah. Mm. Mm. There you go. Now you do get everything you need in there. You do even get some priming sugar. Ooh. You get a big bag of malt extract to dissolve. You do get some dry hops to add. You even get a little of them socks put over the end of your siphoning too, so you don't get none of your hops into your beer when you're siphoning it out. So you basically get everything in that. Ain't everything. everything. That. Really good kit, about 25 quid, 25 and a half glasses like that. Uh, same sort of uh, volume of pints. Same sort of volume of pints. Oh, 40 pints this one. Yeah, yeah 40 pints. Again, now, if people are putting them in corner cakes, you don't always need the 40 pints, so you can just bring the volume down. Oh, you can take the volume down a bit. Which will push up the ABV. Well, yeah, so if you want a slightly stronger beer, mm. just take the amount of water down, sort of thing, the volume down. Cool. Right. Okay. Let's see what this bad boy tastes like. It's, it's what it says on the can. It's, mm. a, bit, it's a bitter. <laughs> I want to say it says golden as what is it on, well, on the box. Well, it doesn't say it's golden, I don't think, bro. Although the picture is. It's the picture is. But it does say it's a best bear. And to me, that's good of a best bear. Well, you're quite right there, yeah. Mm. Mm. I can oh. just smell some strong malt in that. I some malt in that, haven't it, eh? Oh. Mm. Right, I'm going in. I'm going in. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Again, not a great deal going on, but just an easy drinking, smooth kit. It's a classic beer, isn't it? Really it? a classic yeah, beer. Just a, your, your normal English classic beer, that. I don't know about the hints of marmalade it said on the back of that, do you? Can you, can you taste any hints of marmalade? Yeah, well, you know what? I'm have another slurp, because you get a little bit of... Marmalade is kind, kind of like a bitter flavour, isn't it? Mm. So you, there is that to it, you know, that little slight tang. I, mean, I suppose you're right. You, know I mean? you, you have to think about it. Though, you yeah. have to think about it. I wouldn't necessarily describe it as marmalade, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, a cracking kit. Mm. Nothing wrong with that. I'm going to go for a nine, though, not a ten. Mm. No, I don't think that's as good as a Saint Peter's. No, it's not, and that's the reason why it's a nine and not a mm. ten. So the best beer on the bar tonight is a two tin extra kit. <laughs> <laughs> two tin extra, <laughs> extra kit from Mumptons via yeah. Saint Peter's. You shouldn't have started on that Belgian beer, I tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, it is, in my opinion, anyway, bro. Kits are a great thing to do. We've been doing them for years. Like I say, I don't always get the chance to do um, mm. a full grain mash, so uh, yeah. that's a great substitute to um, have on the bar when you're having that time. To be honest, out of three beers that you've got on here tonight, that's the one I'm going to be drinking. Yeah. You know, so yeah, definitely. That's 10 out of 10 all day long. Yeah. Mm. Shall we see what's next then, bro? See what's next week, bro, in the instalment from the Dog and Partridge. So, right, are all these on? All these are on. Oh, Lord, oh, God. Anyway, Malt Miller... Bass clone, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. That's a mini mash kit. So for those people who are like part grain kit, so for those people that uh, just like want to do a quick mini mash, I say quick right. mini mash, about two hours there. And and, and, and bass, if, if nobody knows, we're, we're from Sleaford. Bass has a quite a strong connection because all all the moltons used to be done here in Sleaford. Not many moons ago. Not only the moltons used to be done, but we own the world's biggest malting house in the world. Exactly. So I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, Malt Miller Light Hearted, is that right? Yeah, you may remember a few weeks ago in our instalments of beers reviews from the bar, we did um, Two Hearted. Oh, we did? Well, this is Light Hearted because Two Hearted was a strong premium now, around okay. about 6%. This one's Light Hearted because it's 3.7. Obvious. <laughs> uh, Malt Miller own recipe of Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. Yes, you may remember, for the host people, I do make a, a recipe called Rhyme the Ancient Mariner. I've got all the recipe ingredients this time from Malt Miller. This means I can probably, once I've done it and it's to my satisfaction, I can put the recipe And this is there. a recipe basically of your own invention, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. So um, you can go on online and order the stuff and, and mess yeah. about with things. If I've right? release it and put it on there, if it's to our liking, that'd be yeah. super to our liking. We, we've made that before and we both agree it's a fantastic beer, isn't it? Yeah. It really Have I got is. it right this time? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, thank you, bro. Well, that's about well, it. Let's, let's, right. let's get the best beer on the bar. Oh, let's have the, oh, oh, it's here, isn't it? It's that one there, isn't it? I've not got that left. I'm going to need. I'm going to need a refill in a minute. Yes. Cheers, Pete. Um, um, yeah. Until next time, it's a goodbye for me. And just before he says that again, thanks to everybody on YouTube. I know he's already said it, but I'll say it again. Um, because those numbers keep going up. So yes, thank you very much for our subscribers. And we're getting more and more comments every time, aren't we? Yes, so, great, great. Thank it's you very a much. full-time job. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so yes, it is a good goodbye bye from him. And it's a goodbye from him. And until next time, to the, oh, to the queen, to the queen, who does? <laughs>